Ron Dennis here. All right, I wanted to make this quick video. I've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of questions regarding ATN Excite 5 firmware updates, scope issues. So I'm going to go with the latest firmware is 706. So if you own the ATN Excite 5 LRF plain model 5x25, 3x15, Make sure you have an account created with ATN. You want to go to support down the firmware download. You're going to scroll down towards the bottom of the page. Select your device. So for the X5 series, 5.1.05.706 is the latest firmware as of March 2nd, 2024. I believe the 706 firmware came out the beginning of 2024, mid-January, beginning of February. So what you want to do is you want to download this to your computer. Once you have a download, go into your download files. You're going to insert your SD card. You're going to double click the zip file for the firmware update. You're going to open it up. Then you're going to transfer that file to your SD card. Once you do that, safely remove your SD card from the computer, and then you're gonna install it in your scope. Now, a lot of the questions and comments that we are receiving is people asking if they should do the firmware update. The 706 is fixing these issues here. The bug fixes are photo, video, mode without SD card. So there was questions. Your scope will now take videos and photos without the SD card. System stuck in zeroing, zoom out after taking a photo, profile copying, duplicate profile names, compass, widget blinking bug, optimized navigation response and menu, overall stability fixes applied. It's also for an improvement. Improve nighttime performance, change icon for battery status, battery widget icon, added a new environment widget, improved the new remote control operation, the X-Track 5, optimized reticle sizes and shifting limits, added a notification during proper system booting. Some of the new features that this update added support of a dash array line reticle Added brightness icon on the main screen, added power off feature for sleep mode, and added a photo icon when taking a photo. There is a new note down here. Please note that firmware update, yes, no, message will continue to pop up while the micro SD card with firmware file installed, even if the new firmware version was successfully installed. When you upload your firmware update and the scope cycles through, wait a few minutes, power off the scope, remove the SD card, format the SD card, and then place it back in your scope, turn it back on. So I highly recommend, this is what I do and this is from my experience, whenever there is a new update, I call tech support immediately. Both times with the latest updates, I was told not to update the firmware. So if you are not having any issues with your scope, your Excite 5, my personal experience is I would not recommend updating the firmware. If it's broken, don't fix it. I highly recommend call ATN Tech Support. Find out if you shouldn't update it, or just leave your scope as it is. My third scope, um, I actually have a firmware 601. So I am at 601. I was told not to update to 706. So if I start having issues, if I start having issues, then I'll call ATN and ask them if I should update it. If you like videos like this, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. It is free. Turn your notifications on so you get notified when we upload more videos, especially regarding ATN. 
Thank you. We appreciate each and every one of you.